I'm really proud of the city uh, for the care that they've done to the hill. It, uh, yeah. it just continues to look beautiful. But it was a kind of a, a, a rundown, gully-filled hill uh, from the first hundred years of the city's existence. So it wasn't this mastaba or this half pyramid that it is now. And the city has to, about every 30 or 50 years, has to reconstruct the hill because it's so got so much incredible holes and stuff underneath. Uh, most of those tunnels were, were salt mines. And one of the delights of the hill is the huge flag. Uh, when the uh, wind is blowing, it's really remarkable. I remember when nobody lived downtown, and there were four restaurants <laughs> when I first arrived in Baltimore. So it's like, wow, some things actually do come to come pass if you live long enough. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, you did the comma. Oh, wow. See this little shape here. Mm -hmm. That I've been waiting to get. That's cool. A tattoo is a um, incredible, important thing to people. It's strange how powerful it is for people. And I think I figured it out. I think it's actually you are a part of your parents, and it's the one of the main things you can do to yourself that makes you your own. You, it's, 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 a, it's an ownership of your own body. Uh, the, it's shocking how powerful tattoos are for people, for everybody. Uh, for me, the tattoo is, is essentially sexual. It's, it's about um, myself and, how, and, and what I am. It's the opportunity to make a self that, that's totally mine. And um, it's an opportunity to do it well and carefully and thoughtfully and powerfully. And I thought about those issues before I started and I devised one that has some additional powers that, that aren't even very tattoo-like. Tattoos are almost always big batches of lines. My tattoo has no visible lines when it's all done. And my tattoo uh, leaves no pink left. And that's a power that very few people manage to do. People can get confused. They think I want to be important or visible or something. And I'm sorry, but I do have to buy groceries. And, I, and, and, and it turns out that it's, it's really an interesting way to proceed through the universe. I get to watch people. It's like a mask that isn't a mask. Uh, I get to enjoy people while they're interacting with all my craziness. I must admit to my surprise that it's, it's been, I've been enjoying that part, it, and I didn't even expect that. Kind of in a hurry, I mean, to, to do as much life as I can while, it's, while I've still got it. This tattoo in many ways, especially the face tattoo, is all about opportunity cost. If you, if you, if you got, have got the opportunity and you don't do it, it's, it's, it's a choice or doing it as a choice. And so you have to weigh the, the two choices. And it was clear to me that I would be sad that if I sort of gave up and didn't complete the tattoo. And I would not forgive myself for just stopping in midstream. Mid and so I decided that all the unknowns about what it's gonna be like having the tattoo are, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be brave and take the chance. Don't come off. No way. You're getting it all over your whole body. 100%. It's, it's all on your chest and stuff, too. Even, too. Look. No. You want to do all of this? You want to finish all of this yep. right there? And I got the last, last blank spot design. Yeah, it's right here. Well, I actually was really lucky. I did that with under surgery, so I was out. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, right. okay. That's hot. Yeah. Woo! I well, know that hurt. Well, oh, did you bump? That started. Oh my God! You did. Not the butt. Penis. Where do you think I started? Your penis. <laughs> <laughs> so you do good. Blue. Blue and, and dark blue. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> When I started getting tattooed, people wouldn't tattoo below the belt. Right. Um, and um, so, uh, of course, of course, my first tattoo was on my uh, genitals. So that I was uh, pretty, in, pretty uh, breaking the rules even then. Right. Same deal. Look over your shoulder at me. Come on, keep turning. Hold it. Hold it. Eyes here. 
Say hey. 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 Oh, right there. Perfect. Over. Many tattoos are about um, objects and, and ideology and, and, and symbols. My tattoo has no symbols. My tattoo is a design. My tattoo is an artist's tattoo. I've made myself into a piece of art. There's nothing that has meaning. A circle is a circle is a circle. A comma is a comma is a comma. But these are a set of interacting shapes that work together and, and play in color with the body. They were designed to work on the different parts of me and to use the same symbols over and over in many, many variations uh, to create a, 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 a walking, sleeping piece of art. Thrill, why I did it, is not public. It's not about other people. It's about me and myself. And it's a sexual, it's a fetish. Explain the fetish. The fetish is the ability to transform your body. You actually have the power in, in our civilization to make a body that is is transformed completely with that thin layer of ink and becomes almost like a different variety of a human being. There's only two totally tattooed people. And uh, that is really neat. That's a very powerful transformation. And, and the neat thing is that it's, not, it's turning out not to be a transformation that in other people's minds makes me ugly or unattractive. It's a power that uh, makes me, makes me if, if, my, if, if my interaction with people so far has been accurate, a, a positive thing for other people. I think, I think, you know, I think this is humor to children and teenagers and the people in their 20s and 30s think that there's no end to life. It just goes on and on and on. And when you get older, you start seeing an end. Did they decide whether I was crazy or not? They say you weren't crazy. Oh, wow!